Hi, I'm Dr. David Chen, an ophthalmologist from NUH. In this video, I will share about the causes and treatment of vision conditions such as presbyopia, commonly known as Lao Hua, myopia or short-sightedness, and hyperopia or long-sightedness. Here's how our eyes work. In order for the eye to form a sharp image for the brain to process, the front of the eye focuses light rays onto the retina, which is the layer at the back of the eye. But our eyes come in different shapes and sizes. When light rays from a distant object, such as a tree, do not converge on the back of the eye accurately, the resulting image becomes blur. This is what we call a refractive error. Most of our population is short-sighted or myopic, with the light rays converging in the front of the retina, with near objects appearing clear but distant objects appearing blurry. Long-sightedness or hyperopia is a result of light rays converging at the back of the retina, where distant objects appear clear but near objects appear blurry. Objects from different distances reflect light at different angles and directions, and near objects require greater focusing power. Our internal eye muscles work automatically to allow accurate focus of images from different distances when we are young. Young people who are long-sighted may not be aware that they are a bit long-sighted because they are able to accommodate and use the flexibility of their lens to see near objects. However, this ability is slowly lost over time. Presbyopia, also known as age-related long-sightedness or Lao Hua, usually occurs from around 40 years old. For most people, this results in blurred near vision. Sometimes, this can result in brow aches or even headaches after prolonged reading. Interestingly, a short-sighted person may be able to read clearly without their distance glasses after they have become presbyopic. But a short-sighted person who has undergone LASIK or other forms of refractive surgery will experience presbyopia symptoms just like someone without vision correction would. LASIK is a type of laser refractive surgery that reshapes the cornea, which is a transparent structure at the front of the eye, so that light rays can converge on the retina and this is used to treat short-sightedness and long-sightedness. Although LASIK is almost synonymous with laser vision correction, it is not the only type of laser refractive surgery available. Other options include PRK and SMILE. An additional lens can also be placed within the eye without the use of laser, and this is called ICL surgery. All these surgeries shift the focal point of the distant object onto the retina. I hope this short video provides some clarification on the causes and treatment of the different vision conditions. Visit the NUH website to learn about the LASIK treatment for presbyopia and post-surgery care instructions. Thank you and I wish you a joyful sight.